This is what saved a SWAT officer's life. You can see the bullet hole right at the top of the letter C in police. He and the rest of the SWAT team were searching this home on Goodwin Avenue in Newark as part of a month-long drug-related investigation when he was shot. And it happened while a two-year-old child was in the house. They knocked and announced several times, police, police, and knocked, and then they breached the door as they were entering, uh, going into the basement where the search warrant was for, the shot was fired uh, that struck the officer. Because of the vest, the bullet only causing some bruising. Police say that officer was rushed to the university hospital where he was treated for his injuries and then released. They're telling us he's 50 years old and a 15-year veteran, but so far they aren't releasing his name. He was very upbeat. Uh, maybe it'll kick in in a couple of days, uh, but he did say, I'm, I'm blessed today. Police say 22-year-old James Denard used a handgun to fire the shot. He was arrested, now facing a long list of charges, including attempted murder and aggravated assault. 24-year-old Latasia Phillips was also in the house. She was arrested for possession of a weapon and endangering the welfare of a child. I'm just numb at this point and trying to deal with everything as it comes. Rod Denard, James Denard's father, says he wasn't home when it happened, and he hasn't spoken to his son since the arrest. I'm praying for him. That's the, the only thing I can do. Praying for his son and thankful no one was hurt. In Newark, New Jersey, Mark Liverman, TV 1055. Along with the gun, police say they recovered about 40 grams of marijuana and a scale.